Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. The North American International Auto Show is going on right now in Detroit, Michigan. And we're going to talk about a lot of stuff that was shown off at that particular event. Including the North American International Car of the Year. And that Car of the Year is, ta-da, the brand new Honda Civic. Honda Civic beat out the likes of the brand new Mazda MX-5 and the brand new Chevrolet Malibu to take the crown for car of the year. But the truck of the year was announced as well and the North American International Truck of the Year is the brand new Volvo XC90. The new XC90 beat out the likes of the brand new Nissan Titan XD and also Honda's brand new Pilot. So congratulations to these two makes. This is another feather in your cap and you're definitely going to see this in advertisements coming soon for these two vehicles. Ticking with some of the vehicles that are shown off at the show floor, one of those being this, the brand new Ford Fusion. Now this is still just a mid-cycle refresh, but Ford is claiming it's the most advanced machine, technically, that they have ever built ever, which is a bold, bold statement. But let's keep, in fact, with one of the greatest options that's going to come on this machine. It's going to get a brand new sport model called the V6 Sport that comes with a 2.7 liter EcoBoost twin turbocharged V6 making 325 brake horsepower. And that power is going to be flipped through all four wheels. Yes, it's going to be all-wheel drive. When you take the family out to eat, you can take some of the back roads and tear it up. Supposedly, this car's got a nice spine, very well set up suspension, and very fun around the corner. So this machine will be perfect for the family that likes to get there in rapid succession. Next up on the list, Fiat Chrysler Automobile showing off this, the brand new Chrysler Town and Country. Wait a minute, the Town and Country is officially dead. This is the brand new Chrysler Pacifica. Yes, you may remember the Pacifica, a blast from the past, a little bit of a crossover machine that Chrysler sold back in the day. Now, they don't really want to call this thing a minivan, but that's technically what it is. Really, the outsides look really good, but the interior is really a knockout. But let's talk about this thing's really piece of resistance. The biggest one being that this car is going to be available in 60 days. You want to head down to your Fiat Chrysler Automobile dealership, they're going to have these in short succession. But its bigger piece is going to be the fact that this is going to be the first ever plug-in hybrid minivan ever sold in the U.S. market. And they're claiming that the plug-in hybrid version will get 28 miles to the gallon unless you plug it in. And if you plug it in and charge up that battery overnight, this vehicle will do up to 30 miles in pure EV and ramp that 28 miles to the gallon to 80 miles a gallon. I know, the math really doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but that's the way they do these things. Pretty impressive numbers out of this machine. I have to say, it's not bad looking for a minivan as well with this much utility to have this much kind of style. Next up on the list, Honda showing off the brand new Ridgeline. Yes, gone is that kind of half truck, half car, half whatever. Now to a vehicle that looks a lot more truck-like. Now, right off the bat, we don't know a whole lot about this machine. Honda's basically showing this off of the Detroit Motor Show. We're going to learn a whole lot more as this vehicle won't be going on sale for at least another year. We do know that they're talking like it's got a V6 engine in it. It will come standard front-wheel drive with an optional all-wheel drive option. This is not as much a truck in the truck style of standards that you think about a truck on a body on frame. This is a unibody automobile, so it's more like an, a car or an SUV than basically it is an actual truck truck. That being said, the bed is where the action is. Yes, again, the trunk that was in the last generation Ridgeline makes its return, but the tub that's inside of it, right up underneath the spare wheel, has got plugs in it. You can fill this thing up with all the ice and all your beverages and snacks for tailgating, and not to mention the bed has built-in speakers inside of it. This thing is a tailgater's dream. 
nice piece of kit. It'll be interesting to hear a whole lot more of what we're going to hear about the Honda Ridgeline this year, the year of 2016. And last up on the list, feast your eyes on the brand new Lincoln Continental. The first ever production pictures of this machine as it's being shown off at the North American International Auto Show. Sadly, that's pretty much all we know about the new Continental. This vehicle won't be going on sale till 2017, so they haven't released at least the official details, other than officially this is what it's going to look like. I can guarantee you one thing, the 3.7 liter Twin turbocharged EcoBoost V6 will be making it into this particular machine, but no words on just where exactly in the lineup that will be and what will be the top of the tree. Possibly we'll have to see on that as well. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. If you want to jump on over to the Facebook page, don't forget to like us over there. The link's down in the show notes. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time and get the first dibs on the brand new shows as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again real soon.